Good morning, friendos. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, this stuff is all kind of dark, you know? And as you guys can see, I let it be, be nighttime at the start of the video for once. Um, obviously, no mobs are spawning right now because obviously they wouldn't if I uh, was waiting for them. But I have seen some mobs around here and I really don't want to see a creeper explode here. So, what do we need to do? We first need to decrease our render distance because I have a shit PC and it is what it is. Um, over here I've just spammed torches around, but that is not what I want. Torches, eh, they're fine. They do the job. But I want the lamps that these guys give, so I need prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Now, I do already have some hoppers underneath there. But I want to do some uh, some sorting of this stuff. I want to put put these items in place uh, where they need to be. So I've got a bit of wood, and these guys are gonna get their shit sorted out in this corner, basically. Um, yeah, I don't really know what items I want where exactly. I just know that I want chests over here. And that is all that I know. So let's first make some, I guess. Okay, so I've marked some things out a little bit. Um, these are some droppers that will transport the items back upwards. Because obviously the hoppers are down there and we need the items to be a bit higher because reasons. Um, anyway, I have here these chests. At the end here is going to be an incinerator for any overflow of items that uh, I may or may not want to actually deal with. So, well, I don't know. What, what, what would that be? Probably like... The prismarine crystals, if I get too many of those, because those are the main drop. Um, if I get too many of those, I don't want to uh, have them clog up the system. These are all going to be auto-sorted. And at the end here, I want to quickly mark out for myself how many chests are going to be for the fishes. So you have puffer fish, salmon, raw salmon, and tropical fish. Which are the four uncommon fish that you get from this. And then I want, I think, two chests for raw cod and one for cooked cod. Let's actually go one more for cod. So it's like three chests for cod. And then the rest of this is all going to be for prismarine crystals and shards. And the rest of the fish, I mean, after I've gotten four stacks of chests of cod and... Cooked cod, I don't think I'll ever need anything more. Um, but crystals, I'll probably need more. Anyway, let's uh, let's work on this dropper tower, I suppose. Or, now let's first check out how high I want this thing to be. Because there's two things that I could do. One is I could just make it like six chests tall and that is as tall as I can reasonably reach regularly. Or what I could do is I could like make a little bit of a raised floor around here. So like the floor would be at this level say. Or maybe half a block layer lower still. Um, I could still reach all the way down there. But then I could suddenly reach three chests higher. Um, and that could also double for the farm that's going to go in this spot right here. So that would really just times 1.5 my storage around here, which uh, is the thing that, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna make a massive storage. So let's see then. Three chests on top, one, two, Alright, so I can still reasonably reach the top one and reasonably reach the bottom one. 
I will need to make a way that I don't really fall down here, but that's a worry for Quinty of the future. So, then we will have to have a dropper tower, which will go up into the right level. And let me quickly check how high that is. And I believe that's uh, this high. Oops. Um, anyway, I have here Observer Earth. And let's see, where's actually the best way to point these into the tower? I'm actually also grab some hoppers real quick, one sec. Because the hoppers will probably point into the tower at the first point over there. And then the rest of the observers can go be a observer tower around here, I suppose. That's completely fine. And we can put some... Okay, so I've put in the observers. Now I just need a way to trigger this observer tower. Um, I guess I could move these hoppers around a bit, but... Yeah, if necessary, I'll move the hoppers to the side. But I think I can make it work by putting a... God damn it, I put them away. One sec. I think I can make this work by putting a redstone lamp in there. Because that will or update the entire observer tower. Um, I'll just have to worry about this one. Which is going to be... Probably powered from down here. Really, I forget to put... Why do I not grab redstone when I'm doing a redstone episode? That's my question. Redstone repeaters, comparators, dust. Do I need anything else? I'll need torches. Alright, now I should have everything. Well, not everything yet. I'll need more stuff in the near future. But still, more stuff than I had. Okay, so now the question is, where would I like to compare it, this stuff from? And I think it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't want to compare it from this one, because I want to have it visible, the dropper tower. Um, so that's probably why I also shouldn't put it there, because uh, if I want my wall to be there. Or maybe even one block backwards, I don't know. Um, then it's better if I... Uh, Put it just just one block backwards. Um, anyway, that's going to be comparing. Alright, so, after way more time than it should have taken, I have managed to make this thing work. This dropper tower. Um, the end product is so simple. Um, at first I was doing things with extra comparators to extend this signal to put it into the lab. But really, I only need to check if this is changing in signal strength. Because what happens is... Let me put some stuff in here. It was slightly blank, but it will, will never completely turn off when this stuff is too full. Which is exactly the kind of problem, you see. Um, because if you detect that with the repeater, the repeater will just stay on the entire time. And, uh, well, that's not what we want. We want it to uh, 
blink as much as we can so that it will push items upwards. Anyway, I'll put an observer down here to detect uh, this one. For the bottom dropper, which also needed to be powered, I have another observer down here, which detects actually a powered rail. So that's uh, an interesting uh, use of components, I think. Um, at first I was going to put a trap door or something there. So something that will update or another redstone lamp. But I think power drill is both the cheapest and most silentest of the options. So um, yeah, that's why it's uh, it's power drill down there. Anyway, the next step would be to put in, I guess, or I suppose the uh, auto sorter lines. So... Let me just quickly make like a billion more hoppers, actually, um, no I'm not gonna, because we have a million hoppers right here that I'm actually not using. And these hoppers, they were a nice idea, but they're absolutely useless, aren't they? So I'm just gonna take these out and use these hoppers. This will also save on lag in my world, which is nice, but uh, yeah. This stuff was a nice idea. Actually, it was a really stupid idea. Why would I ever want to put just five stacks of items in a chest and not want to look in the chest itself while I'm standing right in front of it? And there was scent in there. Interesting. All right, so there's our very first auto sorter. Um, it's just really the same simple design as I used at the sheep farm. Um, but yeah, I guess the next step would be to uh, fill in all the chests, fill in all the hoppers, we'll run a line across and just copy this auto sorter like, what is it? How many chests? 20 times, 25, 30 times maybe. Um, lots of times anyway. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get to it, I suppose. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so all the item filters are in place. Now it's just time to configure them. And uh, I did quickly check out what the drop rates roughly are in comparison to each other. So I think I want three Prism Marine Crystal chests. And then I want... What is it? Nine of these. So one, two, three... Well, whatever the rest is, that's not going to be fish. It's going to be prismarine shards anyway. Um, and then the fish are all just going to be uh, what I said before. So there's going to be 12 chests for shards and crystals. And then there's going to be... What was it? One god and uh, three raw god. Something like that. And then we'll have pufferfish, salmon, tropical fish, and cooked salmon. Actually, let's swap these around because I want my salmon to be next to the cod, and I want my pufferfish next to the tropical fish because that makes more sense in the sorting uh, scheme of things. Um, anyway. Let's put in our filler items, which is going to be iron ingots, which I will rename because that's just the easiest thing that I have a ton of and I have disposable amounts of. All 
All right, so here we are. The item filters are in place. The chests are all set up. Um, yeah, I think nothing can go wrong from now. I think I just need to connect all the hoppers up to the thing. I think that's everything that's left to do. So let's actually... Oh, this is gonna make a mess. Oh, I gotta prepare my, my mental for this. Okay, everything should be linked up, I hope. This thing is filling up. Is it not pulsing? Why is this not pulsing? Oh, obviously it's not pulsing because it needs to wait for this one to fill up. And then it will start pulsing. Um, that's just a weird little quirk of the way I, uh, I'm detecting it from this block instead of over here. Uh, I guess we can help it along real quick. And now things should start filling up. Actually. Hmm. I may actually need to swap this around and detect it from the dropper itself. Because if this is going to be filled with prismarine shards, it's just going to be pumping these ones upwards and nothing else. Now why is this not working though? This one is constantly powered, that's annoying. Uh, let's swap that out for something else I guess. You know what? Scratch this whole detecting business. It's uh, nice if I can work it out some other day, but for now I just want this thing to work. So what we'll be doing is just setting up a clock. That's uh, a really cheeky kind of way to, uh, to do this, but uh, hey. It is what it is. Alright. And now it should just pulse all the time. Every day. All day. Um, yeah. These ones are pulsing. It's a lot simpler of a solution. But... Over time it may create lag. So I don't know. Why are these not going up? Is the question. Is anything being sorted, actually? Why is there prismarine shards in that one? What's going on? I put the item filters in the wrong chests. God damn it. And they need to be in the top one instead of the bottom one. Um, do they? Actually, let me check one sec. Okay, so complete redesign of the item elevator once again. Um, I've just put in a bubble column and that will feed into the hopper up top. Um, now hopefully there should be nothing that can go wrong with this. It's just another little uh, constantly on clock. I mean, it could be better, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, this way it's also cool that we can see the items flow upwards. Yeah, I like that. Um, let's go up top real quick. See if 
we can catch if the items are actually going through or not. Alright, looks like they're getting picked up just fine. Going through here. The cod are going all the way through to this one. And over here we see still a few cod. Over here, no cods anymore. Yeah, it's filling up. No, hopper, don't need that in there. And let's check this one. Press marine shards in there. Let's actually get these in the right chest as well. I've uh, fixed the item filters as well, by the way. Um, so that's uh, that's the thing that happened. I need to have some markings on these chests, probably, to see what uh, what goes in where. Um, but anyway, let's uh, give it a real test. Let's fill up my inventory so that I don't pick up any of this garbage. I need to repair my elytra anyway. So let's feed in some more items. Alright, everything's getting picked up nicely. Actually, do I even have enough hoppers on here? Um, it should be fine if it's just the hoppers in the center. Yeah, everything will get picked up by that. Um... Yeah, it does look like it's kind of struggling to keep up when I'm actively killing the stuff. Like, these items aren't flowing right now. But, as soon as uh, I'm not actively killing these guys, the items should just uh, go through as normal. And uh, everything should clear out then. So, yeah. Um... Alright, so... Here's the thing, the original goal of this episode, do you guys remember? Do you guys even remember what the plan was? Oh, this one is cooked cold, I think. Um, it was to mob-proof this area. So let's... Uh, let's just grab a few Prismarine Crystals. Grab a few Prismarine Shards. And grab some Lanterns. And uh, I'll just do a little bit right now, but, you know, I just really needed to have these at my disposal, uh, these lanterns. And uh, I had the farm set up, it just didn't really, uh, it just wasn't set up properly, which is uh, just plain old silly. Anyway, this line of hoppers up here is one major offender of mob spawns. So I'll be putting some lanterns up here. Alright, so this is where we are going to leave it off for today. Actually, um, there's still more things to do. I uh, did put a few lanterns in here in the sheep farm. Um, still need to farm a bit more crystals and prismarine shards and stuff. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I've, uh, I've mob proofed what I wanted to mob proof. Um, this ring around here is obviously also dark still, but usually I haven't really found any trouble with mob spawning on here. Weird. Anyway, we still also need to put an uh, an item disposal at the end of this. Um, I want to put something on there, uh, which is not just a cactus or lava. I want also to have the possibility to save my items if I accidentally um, if I accidentally put my shovel in there for example uh, I want to be able to retrieve it before uh, before anything gets incinerated 
Um, but anyway, this thing seems to be working. I did mark out on the bottom what goes where slightly. Not entirely. Uh, don't really know what I'm going to do for the food. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, haven't really gotten much uh, of these last few boxes yet. But uh, hey, I'll get those over time. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles!